And Caitlin, they say that this test was completely inappropriate. It was a fill in the blank style test where certain letters were missing. The school is adamant that there's no way it could be interpreted the wrong way. But parents say all you have to do is look at it to understand. It's absolutely disgusting. It really is. It is disgusting. Looking at this test, there are certain words that could come to mind. It's gone viral on Facebook because of the way some people first read it. Well, that's the way Amber Mahan's 13-year-old daughter read it too. And my mouth just dropped open. She says the teacher told them to fill in the blanks with the first thing they could think of. Don't worry about getting in trouble. Just write down what comes to mind. The actual answers are harmless. Fork, books, random, pants, pulse, six. But Mahan says kids in class didn't take it that way. When she called to complain, she says the school backed the teacher and told her there was nothing wrong with the test. The teachers don't have to have their material that they teach in class approved. So here we are. In a statement, an attorney for the school said the test was in no way sexually suggestive and it's absurd to interpret it that way. The lawyer called Mahan a disgruntled parent and said students were given an answer bank to fill in the correct words. I've got a picture of it wrote on the board in class. I don't see a word bank beside it. The school attached a correct answer sheet from one of the kids in class, but Mahan says that's just not what teenagers are thinking. I'm pretty level headed. Uh, this I can't I can't wrap my mind around it. I can't wrap my mind around that. It. It's an OK thing. She says she shouldn't have to spell out her concerns. Ashamed for my child to have had to go through that. I am embarrassed for her, disgusted. I'm humiliated for her. I'm angry as a parent. Again, the school says there was nothing wrong with the test and they stand behind their teacher. Amber says she's pulling her daughter out of the private Christian school and sending her back to public school next week.